So I grew up here in York and I attended the local school here um, and then I got a scholarship to go to Edinburgh University and so I went there in 2006 and I studied geology and geography and while I was there I got the amazing opportunity to study abroad for my third year in Miami in Florida which was totally amazing. Um, on graduation from university I was offered a place on the government fast stream and I was on that for two years moving around the UK in a sort of management fast stream capacity six months in each place and then finally in 2011 I was offered a place here in York a promotion into management and now I work for the Forestry Commission and um, managing all of the forests in Yorkshire and the North East. So the things that motivate me in my career um, are my family. My family have always been very encouraging and supportive, but also they've been quite pushy in a nice way that I should achieve and that I should do something that I love and that I'm good at. Uh, so that's been really motivating. My fiancé also has been very motivating. He's very um, good in his field. He's an academic and it makes me want to be competitive with him and, and uh, do well in my own field. Um, and then I think I'm also just very driven. I've always been very driven. I've been very motivated. I know exactly where I want to get in life and I know what age I want to be when I reach that point. Um, and so I've always pushed myself. Ever since I was young, I've competed with myself. Um, and so I'm just naturally uh, driven and competitive and motivated. One of the threats in my career has always been the fact that I'm quite young um, obviously everyone is young at some point but for me because I'm quite competitive and driven I've been trying to push myself forward in my career as early as possible so I've just turned 26 uh, and I'm in middle management and I'm managing people who are much older than me and I do find that quite difficult and they find it difficult and I think it's all about understanding and being respectful um, so that's been one of the threats, having to overcome the fact that I'm young, overcome people's preconceptions of what I'll be like because I'm young, um, and proving that it doesn't matter about your age, anyone can be in management. One of the opportunities in my career was something that I actually did myself um, a couple of years ago when I first got onto the management fast stream. Um, I knew that at some point I'd quite like to end up in York again, which I have now, and so I took the initiative to contact the big manager of the York office and it was a pretty big move I didn't even realize at the time and um, how big a thing it would be just to sort of send them an email out the blue and I explained who I was and I was really interested in some point in coming back to York anyway he didn't reply and I was pretty embarrassed um, but amazingly a year and a half later when I completely forgot about it completely he got in touch and he was like actually a job is coming up uh, and I remembered that you'd sent me this email um, are you interested in applying? And, and I applied, even though it was perhaps slightly more um, senior than, than I should have applied for, but I applied for it and it ended up being successful. And had it not been for that initiative that I'd taken two years ago, sent that email out of the blue, perhaps a bit cheeky, you would never have thought of me. So opportunities, I think, arise like that and you've just got to grab them with both hands. I think one of the problems that every woman has to overcome, perhaps a little bit controversially, is trying to balance career with family, with family life, and with um, the need to settle down and be stable. And I truly believe, truly from the bottom of my heart, that, that a woman can have a family and have a personal life and be successful in business and management. I truly believe that. But for me, um, being on a management fast track it's always best if you can move around as much as possible for as long as possible before you settle down, get as much experience as possible, um, especially in different areas of work, in different businesses, um, and in different areas of the country or even out of the UK. So one of my problems was that I was doing this for two years and I became engaged pretty early and so it, it became clear that I would need to be geographically confined for a short time so that I could settle down with my fiancé and, and at least be together. So that was one of the problems, but as it is, it actually worked out quite well and I ended up getting the promotion here in York and, and we're now here in York together. But I think that that is always going to be a problem, that balancing of, of when do you settle down, when do you prioritise your family life and when do you prioritise your career and your experience.
inspirations in my life include my family, including my, my fiancé and also my, my parents. But one of the biggest inspirations in my life is my older brother. Um, now, he grew up in York here with me, uh, but he decided that he wanted to uh, give his life to mission work and charity work. And he now lives in Brazil, set up his own charity there about taking street girls off the street and putting them in a halfway house, giving them food and water and sending them to school. And you wouldn't believe the amount of drama he's had to get through to get there. Brazil is a very difficult country to live in. Um, but despite it all, he's persevered. And I think he's one of the most amazing examples of a young leader of our generation. Um, that he could have stayed here in the UK where it's quite cushy, where he would have been guaranteed a job. He did a good degree at Newcastle. But instead, he gave all of that up. And now he lives quite a difficult life there. And I love, I love talking to him and hearing all about the problems that he's going through or, or the challenges that he's managed to overcome. And it really puts my life in perspective and, and makes me want to strive for more um, in my own career, that I really want to, to do something that's going to help people. And I love working for the Forestry Commission in that sense because it's such an amazing organisation where people can come and, and spend time in the public forest estate. Um, but we can also produce sustainable timber and energy for Britain. So I think Andy Roberts, that's my older brother, is probably my biggest inspiration. My lucky saying is that you have to be in it to win it. Um, I know that that's quite cliched, but for me, um, people have said to me before, oh, why are you applying for that? You're not going to get that, or that's, that's, you haven't got the transferable skills for that, or a lot of people older than you are going to be applying for that. But the way I see it is that if you don't throw in an application or you don't apply, then you're not going to get it. And so there's been numerous times in my life where I've just thrown in an application, hoping that my drive and enthusiasm will get past the fact that I'm quite young. And lo and behold, I, I have got to where I am and, and I really believe that you shouldn't be held back by the fact that you're young or female um, or that you have perhaps a lack of experience because at the end of the day, it's about motivation and drive and if you've got the enthusiasm to succeed then, and a capacity to learn, I really believe that you can. Uh, the advice that I'd give to women looking to go into management or into business would be, obviously, that you've got to be in it to win it. That's my lucky phrase. So do not let your, uh, your age or your sex hold you back. Uh, but most important, I think, is that you've got to do your research. What is it that you want to do? Look at the field. Who are the most, who are the most competitive people in that field and how have they got to their point and um, that point in their careers? Don't underestimate the importance of networking. Chat to these people. Go along to conferences if, you, conferences if you can. Get in touch with them direct and ask if you can have some informal coaching or mentoring. Um, and then once you've done your research and you're sure that that's the field that you want to go into, then throw everything that you have into the application. Be confident. Um, if that's what you want to do and you have the enthusiasm and drive to succeed, then I really believe that you can do it. So um, just throw your enthusiasm into it and do your research and be confident.